and Senator representing Kanu South, Suleiman Kao, is questioning the premature removal of the substantive executive director of the midstream downstream gas infrastructure fund, Manso Kulia. According to Senator Kao, the sacking of Kulia as executive director of the agency is unlawful as he was not allowed to complete his five year term, which began in 2022. His outburst was in response to President Balatinibu's letter asking the Senate to confirm Oluwale Adama as ED of the MDGIF on Tuesday in the plenary. Apabio also urged the committees to look into senior Senator Kawu's claims and make recommendations to the Senate for further legislative action. In a similar development, President Tinubu wants the Senate to confirm the disengagement of Babatunde Irukera as the Executive Vice Chairman and CEO of the Federal Competition and Consumer Protection Commission, FCCPC. His request is contained in a letter read by the President of the Senate, Godswila Papio, on Tuesday at the resumption of plenary after a four-week Christmas and New Year break. Senate President Akpabio thereafter referred the matter to the Committee of the Whole for further action. The request for confirmation of appointment of Executive Director for the Nigerian Midstream and Downstream Petroleum Regulatory Authority, NMDPRA, in accordance with the provisions of Section 4. 41, 42, uh, subsection 2 of the Petroleum Industry Act 2021, I am pleased to present for confirmation by the Senate the appointment of Oluwele Adama as the Executive Director, Midstream and Downstream Gas Infrastructure Fund in the Petroleum Regulatory Authority. Well, I hope that the Senate will consider and confirm the nominee in an expeditious manner. Please accept the distinguished Senate President and distinguished Senators, the assurances of my highest regards. This is signed by Bola Ahmed Chinibu, President, Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces of Nigeria. I am drawing the attention of the Senate that the, the, the appointment okay, of the gentleman who is serving his uh, term was not served with any letter of disengagement or oh, there was no correspondence from anybody but he was just a heart that he has been removed. Therefore, I think we are the one who made this law. It is the responsibility of the National Assembly to respect its own laws. Uh, that is the reason why I draw the attention of the Senate and of course Nigerians on the constitutional bridge, which I believe it is an oversight from the executive. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.